So here I am in Adobe Dimensions, trying to create a 3D flyer for one of the cool shoes that Hoka is just coming up with. What I could do is capture a bunch of photos and then try to find the one that aligns with my ad perfectly. But as you can imagine, that will be quite cumbersome. Can I instead use these photos to create a complete 3D model and then bring inside dimension and align as the way as I want to? Well, this is what our project Scantastic allows us to do. Let's quickly go to our prototype inside Adobe Capture to see it in action. The moment our prototype is launched, it tries to analyze the environment and then on Capture creates a rough bounding box. As the device is moved, it encapsulates the object in focus automatically. The user has an option to fit the bounding box if they choose to do so. Once the bounding box has been chosen, I can start the capture process and this is where the magic begins. Our prototype automatically places a net of stations in an optimal manner to ensure high quality resultant 3D model. It also shows a progress to the user so that they know to capture these photos from all angles. Once all of these photos have been captured, we can save them to create a cloud for processing. Once these images have been processed, I can simply go back to my Creative Cloud libraries within Adobe Dimension and voila, I have my 3D model there. I can simply double click and you can see that model within Adobe Dimension placed in your scene without any other steps involved. Isn't this awesome? I can move this 3D model as the way as I want to and make sure that this aligns with my 3D scene. I can also move it around. I can move the text and do all of the things that are possible with native 3D models inside Dimension. Once we have this 3D model, it can serve a whole lot of other purposes. For example, I can send it to a user who is thinking of buying this shoe. They can go to their favorite AR application, for example, Adobe Aero, and then launch this model inside an AR experience. And they can see whether this shoe fits their outfit or not. As you can see, this looks cool to me. In this way, our prototype allows us to take a 3D real world object into a 3D virtual scene and then bring it back into the real world using AR. Thank you.